Kia ora te whanau. it's Grant Whitbourne back again with another quick language lesson for you in te reo Māori. Now today, we're going to be talking about past tense phrases. Uh, so it's something that's popped up lately a fair bit, and it's people that are getting started on this kaupapa, they're getting a little bit confused with the difference between using i and using kwa in our uh, simple sentences that you know, I, I talk about quite frequently uh, on this channel. <clears throat> So I wanted to dive in that, into that a little bit more, hopefully just to clarify things and yeah, give you a bit more clarity around uh, what the differences are between them. So uh, first off, basically, we're, we're, so we're talking about i versus qua. So when we talk about i, we're talking about things that have happened in the past and you know they're kind of just sitting there in the past, having happened in the past. Whereas when we use qua, we're kind of talking more about uh, the, the completeness of those things happening. So when we translate these into English, uh, you can really start to see the difference in the language between the two. And that, that really is uh, the difference between them too. And you can use this to you know, really start embellishing what you're trying to say. So I'll jump across to the screencast and we'll go through a couple of examples. Oop. Text. Want text. So I'm going to use a really simple example here. I'm going to use the example of uh, the action being going. I'm going to talk about me and I'm going to talk about me going to the shop. So in our first sentence, let's say, the haereo kite to. And then the next one, we'll say, kwa haereo kite to. Pardon me. So here we go. So now the translation between these two. So let's go through this. I kite toa. We would translate this as I went to the shop. See, that's something that's happened in the past. Whereas when we talk about kwa haereo kite toa, we're saying more like I have been to the shop. So it's the difference between saying went and have been. And you can really see there when we're talking about have been, we're talking about uh, you know, the completeness of what we've done or the completeness of the action of going. Uh, so some more examples of this, you know, I went to the shop, uh, I went to bed, uh, we went to school, um, you know, the dog ran across the road, just simple things like that. But when we're using qua, we're saying things like, um, you know, I have been to bed or I have been to work. Um, I have, in terms of completeness, uh, quite a common thing that you'll hear is kwa um, mutu, so it's been finished. So you can, you know, when you're talking about something being finished, there's a sense of completeness there, not just um, it has been, you know, I went to the shop. It's not just, you know, I, I did that. It's like I have finished that. I have completed that. Um, so, yeah, that's really the difference between the two. Uh, so hopefully from that, you can start to understand those differences a little bit more. Um, and from there, hopefully you'll be able to uh, you know, keep working on, on what you have been working on and, and really start to embellish what you've been saying. So I don't want you to leave this video and that's the end of it. So I want you to comment below. Let me know not just how you went with this, but I want you to explain to me how you would explain this to someone else. And I, I find this to be a really powerful thing. When you're trying to learn something, you actually learn the best when you try and explain things, you know, explain it and teach it to someone else. So have a go below. Let me know down in the comments how you would explain this to someone uh, and the differences between the two. Uh, I'd love to hear all your feedback. I'd love to hear the different ways that you can do it. And if there's already heaps of comments, don't just copy what someone else uh, has written. Uh, have a real crack at it. Let me know what you think. And, you know, I'll be, I'll be down there responding to all the comments.